What's good guys? In this video, we're going to be going uh, to chat GBT again, and we're going to do another Minecraft situation. So I want to simulate a bow and arrow. As you can see, I've already wrote it a question. How would I simulate a bow and arrow in Roblox Studio? Let's see what it says. Follow these steps. Create a new empty place. Okay. Create a new part object and rename it bow. This will be the bow that the player will use to shoot the arrow. Create a new model object and rename it arrow launcher. This will be the object that will hold the bow and arrow and will be used to launch the arrow. Drag the bow. Oh my god. It's actually scripting. I did not even ask it to script. It's actually creating us a script for that. But let's finish reading this first. Drag the bow and arrow objects into the arrow launcher object to make them children of the arrow launcher object. Create a new script object and rename it arrow launcher script. This will be the script that will control the behavior of the arrow launcher object and arrow launcher script. You can use the following code to simulate a bow and arrow. So it's not using any tools or anything. Oh, it's already done. On key press arrow dot position bow dot touched on key press. Okay. So let's copy this. I always forget to press that. Um actually. Is this? This doesn't make any sense because we need user input service to even. All right, let's just, um, Let's just see what happens. So I'm gonna create an error, or not an error, but I'm gonna create an arrow. I'm just gonna make it like super skinny or whatever to represent the arrow. And then let's create a model. <clears throat> and then what do we need to do for the model? Let me see real quick. It says, what's the name of the model gonna be? Arrow launcher. Oh, it could actually just be model. It doesn't need to be named anything because we're using script up here. All right, so insert the script. Okay, the script is there. Um, dot parent dot bow. So we need to do arrow arrow. And then now we need to duplicate and go with bow. And we're gonna put this in there. We're gonna put this in there. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work, but whatever. <laughs> And it didn't, it didn't work either. Um, yeah, because this is, this is, this is why it didn't work. And I don't even know why I just didn't even think about this, but this is a dot touched event. So what's going to happen here is the first, the first argument's just going to be in a, a, the other part that it touches. So this doesn't, it's like you trying to use user input um, service and a dot touched. So that's obviously not what we want. Um, so let's see. Can you script a projectile going from player to mouse target on mouse button one up 
let's see what it does. Yes, you can script a projectile going to go from the player mouse target when the player button one is released in Roblox. Here's some sample code. Okay, so this is going to be a local script. Mouse.hit. I'm not sure I'm familiar with mouse.hit. Um, I've just never personally used it. So I'm just going to ask chat, chat, chat GBT, what is mouse.hit? All right, let's, uh, let's try this code. So let's put this in starter player or starter character. User input type mouse button one up. Attempt to index nil with user input type. I think I, I don't even think we need this, all right? So I'm just gonna get out of that. Because it's it's act it's acting like we're doing a user input service again for some reason, so I think it's wrong there. Oh, whoa, whoa, dude. Okay, <laughs> um, that was weird. Yeah, and it's got velocity on it, so it should be going away, but it's got like a surface force or whatever whatever it's called. I can't even remember what it's called. So it's not actually going anywhere. It should be going towards the direction. So let's let's let it know that. Okay. It looks like the part is staying in one place and has a surface force on it instead of the part part shooting toward mouse target okay let's see what it says it sounds like the projectile is not moving as you expect here are a few things you can try to troubleshoot this all right well Way to make me feel dumb, ChatGPT. Because <laughs> I could have honestly just like did that myself. But chat, we're trying to get ChatGPT to do it though. Oh! Yo, this is crazy. We actually did it. Yo, so now what we would do is we would take this code and basically say, like, if player has arrow, then we would shoot an arrow. Yo, this is actually super dope. This is actually really dope. Oh my God, dude, this is so cool. All right, well, that, that wraps it up for this video. I think this was a major success. The terrain wasn't, the terrain wasn't um, that much of a success because it didn't really work out the way we wanted it to. So we'll come back to the terrain and do the terrain another time. But this was fire. I think this is uh, a big up for ChatGPT. I'll see you guys in the next video.